still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. But you didn't think that I'd come back to life primordial cloud of gas and cosmic dust, gravity forged the stars. Gravity connects star systems together in vast galaxies and steers them on their journey through unbounded space. The relentless flow of time has driven the evolution of the universe and created extraordinary wonders. Some galaxies form so close together that they're locked in a gravitational embrace. What a magnificent sight it would be. As it evolves, the universe passes through distinct eras. Vast ages whose beginnings and endings are marked by unique milestones. The births and deaths of its wonders. We are the product of a grand evolutionary sequence, cosmic evolution about which we are only occasionally aware. Gravity is the great creator, the constructor of worlds. But gravity is also the destroyer, because it's relentless. when a star around 15 times the mass of our sun collapses. All the matter in its core is crushed into an infinite void of blackness known as a stellar mass black hole. The immense gravitational pull of these monsters can rip a star apart. They tear matter from its surface and drag it into orbit.
This superheated matter spins around the mouth of the black hole, and great jets of radiation fire from the core. Although these jets can be seen across the cosmos, the core itself remains a mystery. Not even light can escape, so their interior is forever hidden from us. Throughout a star's life, there is a constant battle between energy pushing out and gravity pushing in. When it runs out of fuel, the star collapses and then explodes with the brightness of a billion suns. space all the elements that it created in its life and death. These are new stars forming from the elements blown out by supernova explosions. New stars being born from the remains of dead ones. And it's from this universal process of death and rebirth that we emerged. Because it was in a nebula, just like this, five billion years ago, that our sun was formed. Clouds of hydrogen collapse further and further under the force of gravity, and the life cycle of a new star has begun. A star was born that would come to be known as the Sun. Around it, a network of planets formed. Among them was the Earth. Debris left over from the formation of the solar system collides with the Earth. Earth began life as a molten hell. The early continents were still forming. Land was dominated by volcanoes, hostile and lifeless. But deep in the oceans, life had begun. The latest theory is that chemicals spewing from underwater volcanic vents solidified and created the conditions needed for the first cells to form. For some three billion years, simple microscopic organisms were the most advanced form of life on the planet. Cyanobacteria and other oxygen-producing microbes began to bloom. These flourished in colonies of plant-like microbes that pumped out enormous volumes of oxygen. And it was this increase in oxygen that was the key to the rise of the animal kingdom. Organisms started using oxygen to respire, yielding a lot more energy 
which allowed the development of more complex life. Just before complex life appeared, the world was in the grip of the biggest ice age in its entire history. And then suddenly, advanced organisms appeared. Guide me.